Let us also see how we can do multiplication of two binary numbers using our full adders. So the product of two binary numbers we can here perform in the same way as we do for decim decimal numbers. So what we want to do in this example is that we're going to multiply two numbers, x, which is given as x2, x1 and x0, where x0 is the least significant bit. And now we multiply this by y2, y1 and y0. And we do this exactly as we multiply ordinary numbers. So here we write x0, y0. Here we write x1, y0. Here we write x2, y0. In the next step, we're going to multiply x0, y1, x1, y1, and x2, y1. And in the third step, we multiply by y2. So here we have x0, y2, x1, y2, and x2, y2. And now we will sum this, and we will call this part of the sum z0, this one we call z1, z2, z3, z4. And the final one, if we get something here, we call it z5. And we can see now that all these terms that we have here in our computation of the product is only AND products. And then we're using the result of these AND products and feed it into an adder. So here we can use the full adder as we defined before. So here we can see the resulting circuit. So in the circuit, this first part here corresponds to the rightmost part in the circuit, but we just have x0, y0. The next part corresponds to this part of our circuit, which sums x1, y0 and x0, y1. And there is nothing else that we need to sum here, so we don't have a carry bit. So this will give us our expression z1 that we have here. And then continuing the next part of our circuit here, we'll add three numbers. But apart from these three numbers, we can also get a carry from this addition here. So we have x0, y2, x1, y1, and x2, y0, and then we get the carry from the previous circuit here, and this will give us z2, and so on. And then at the end, we get z5 as the final carry from our circuit.